Today we're talking tip of the iceberg oral hygiene for natural teeth. Let's talk about halitosis. So halitosis is bad breath and if you have it you might not know that you've got it. Sometimes it's hard to smell it on our stuff, uh, on our mouth, but if you're popping gum and chugging mouthwash to cover it up, you know, you just gotta wonder what are you actually covering up. Um, it could be a lot of different reasons for bad breath. Um, anything from superficial to more serious. Also, it could be due to the foods that you're eating, uh, if you're on any medications, uh, and uh, the drinks that you're drinking. Sometimes that will lead to plaque, which um, is uh, started with the, the bacteria and that just leads to bad breath. So well, I'm gonna start from the inside out. Personally, I like to brush my tongue uh, with my toothbrush, um, but if I have halitosis, uh, I like to use a tongue scraper. There is one that I like in particular, it's 100% copper and it works immediately and it destroys uh, the bacteria naturally by as much as 75% uh, in some cases uh, when used uh, routinely. And that's a really nice, uh, easy way um, to get your breath fresh. And the ingredients that I use uh, for most of my uh, oral hygiene is antibacterial and antimicrobial. Um, and the, uh, the, the ingredients will help restore the pH that's natural uh, in your mouth that keeps the good bacteria. Um, one way that I like to do that is an oil pull. And an oil pull is one teaspoon, no, tablespoon of coconut oil and um, you swish it in your mouth for as long as you can and uh, 10 minutes if you possibly can. I like to do this uh, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Um, it tastes nasty but it really does uh, soften up the plaque on your teeth enough to clean it uh, with your own tools if that's what you use I use them you can look up how to do that you've got to be very careful uh, but that being said if you've got a lot of dental work um, uh, cavities and crowns and that kind of thing you might want to just forget the whole idea of a coconut pull because it will uh, loosen up fillings as well as the plaque uh, my best toothpaste is a pinch of clove powder, two pinches of baking soda, and enough coconut oil to make a paste on the toothbrush. Um, the jury's out uh, from what I read on fluoride uh, since we get enough of it in our water uh, in, in, in the States anyway. Um, and so these natural ingredients also protect your teeth from cavities uh, without um, using, uh, you know, a store-bought thing with all these different um, chemicals. Uh, the cloves in it help boost your uh, mouth immunity and it also eases the inflammation if you've got the beginnings of any kind of gum disease. Um, it also aids in fresh breath, uh, but, but be careful with the clove. Don't overdo it. Uh, just use a little tiny pinch uh, and see how your body responds first. Um, a special kind of a thing to do for the inside of your mouth is to brush it with aloe vera. Uh, you cannot believe how soft the inside of your mouth feels. Um, turmeric is a great uh, herb um, to use for uh, getting the stuff off your teeth. It takes away, you know, all the stains. So now let's get to the fun stuff. So I like a great uh, lip scrub uh, so that my lippy will go on nice and smooth. Um, you can buy a bunch of different ones, but this one works in five days. Uh, it's one teaspoon lemon juice, uh, fresh, one teaspoon coconut oil, one teaspoon instant coffee, and one teaspoon 100% honey or sugar. You massage your lips gently for five minutes for five days to see the results in as little as five days. You'll uh, start to see it. And so you're going to wipe that off with a towel. Uh, don't rinse it off and um, top with oil. And uh, you'll begin to see, uh, you'll notice the difference fairly soon, five days. Um, a lip primer, I use, um, I use just my makeup, my um, foundation uh, for my lip primer, but there are some really great recipes out there. Um, and then there's the plumpers. So the plumpers is um, 
where I don't go any, I don't do anything natural there because uh, cinnamon and cayenne can be kind of volatile and a little too harsh. Um, I love City Lips, uh, but what absolutely works um, is uh, is City Lips and uh, the, another nice alternative is Buxom. They have a nice uh, plumping balm. But the biggest difference that I've seen in my, my mirror uh, is using this. This is a derma roller or a micro needle. It's got tiny spiked uh, uh, surgical grade steel needles in here. Um, because when, as we're getting older, we lose uh, uh, the fullness in our lips and uh, the oils dry out for most of us. And so the fat dissipates as well. You're losing bone mass, all of it. Um, and so this helps uh, induce collagen um, production naturally and I like to use that on my lips uh, to plump them. I'm absolutely positive I would have no upper lip if I didn't. Uh, I also uh, like to use, um, where is it? I like to use my uh, it's called Laneige. It's a sleeping uh, lip mask, but um, that is a little expensive and I'm done with the, that bottle. So what I got was uh, the Cream Shop and this is what it looks like and it's a lip mask and it works exactly the same, you guys. Um, what I like to do is I like to wake up in the morning um, and uh, um, when I'm putting on my makeup, I like to uh, plump my lips up first thing in the morning before I put the makeup on and um, then uh, go on with my day. I've never had an adverse reaction and I've been doing this for years. So um, if you're losing bone mass or if you've had teeth taken out like I have, uh, I've had quite a few teeth taken out right here, and you're finding that uh, you're looking a little sunk in there. You can um, just with the tr just with the um, a lighter color, uh, you can kind of plump that out. Can you guys see this little like dent right there? That's because I have um, had eight teeth taken out. I had two, two, four, and then six, eight taken out years ago because I had braces, and so. Now that I'm getting older, I'm seeing that, um, this is just tart shape tape, it's just a concealer. I'm seeing that it's starting to look sunk in and a kind of crypt keeper <laughs> looking to me. So if you are in the same boat like that, I want to, I want to make this puff out because I don't like that sunk in look. It looks like I've got a bruise or something. So. just going to subtly put a teeny tiny lighter dot right there and yours might run all the way back and if so you're just gonna melt that dot in there and uh, just buff it out. And I could have done this as an underpaint, but I've got things I'm doing today. And so I promised I would do an oral hygiene um, video. And so Yes, if you want to um, change the look of like a sunken area, and so now you can see that that looks like it's puffed out with the rest of my face. Uh, and what I'll do is, because I didn't do it as an underpaint, I'm just gonna take a flesh colored powder and go over that. So, the cloves are, are great. Uh, the coconut pull is fantastic if you don't have a whole bunch of dental work. And all of these recipes uh, are, are only, have only been tried uh, by me uh, on my natural teeth. I do not know how they would work on um, any kind of bridge work 
or anything like that. But um, that is the video for the day and I hope you liked it and we'll see you here next time. Bye. Maybe. <laughs>